Hello, this is Elliot Safnet. Here I have a key connected, uh, let's say this is the end user machine and this key is connected to end user machine and the features are 0 as default and 8. And I'm as an end user wanted to have also license 13. So I'm as an end user will create using the Rust utility 1.c2v. C2v file is a file that is created using the Rust utility and if you want to know more about Rust utility please uh, watch another video about Rust utility. So this is the file C2V and I send it to my ISV, my software vendor. Software vendor will take this C2V and open EMS using admin admin as defaults and first uh, you can go to uh, uh, to entitlements and then take this C2V and check it in, check in C2V so uh, the, the, the database uh, of uh, the EMS will know exactly uh, about the details of this uh, key. So Java is first uh, needs to be installed and run in order to make some of the tasks that relates to uh, uh, functionality of the key. So I'm going to choose file, let's go to the desktop C2V and check in. Okay, so this was checked in. Uh, and I have the details, this is the key ID, uh, I have the feature over here, I can view details and see that I have uh, feature 8, uh, memory if anything, nothing here in the memory. So checking C2V is the very first thing that I can do in order for uh, my AMS to know it. Now let's go to create a license update by going to, uh, in the catalog I've already created uh, feature 13 and product 13 which includes uh, feature 13. So I go to entitlement and create a new entitlement of the type protection key update. I will add the product 13 that I've just created. Now the product 13 is going to be updated for a license for a protection key. I want to locate to say which protection key I'm going to use. I can use key ID, which is the key ID that I'm going to use. I can see it in the c 2 vsm meta effect. So because the C2V already includes, if I open it with any kind of editor, I can see the key ID, here it is. So I can use this key ID inside the EMS. And locate, All right? Add to list, All right? Okay. And then produce. So this will produce a V2C file. I can the default is V2C file. I will generate it. That's it. I can download it. Let's save it. Open the folder where it is. Here it is. So what I will do as a software vendor, I will just send it to my customer my end user and this end user will use this. So now I'm going to the end user machine and suppose that I'm the end user who received the, this V2C. What I will do as a software, as an, as an end user, I will open the admin control center, go to apply, up, update attach, take this V2C that was uh, sent to me where it is, here it is, and apply it. After a few seconds I get your update was successfully updated and I can go to see the features and now I see in addition to 8 and 0 that previously used to be here, I also have 13 license, so that's work for me. Thank you for watching.